Then I got this awesome Indian blanket. And it has two different tags on it. This one says Earth Rags Indian Blanket right here. Hi guys, my name is Missy and I am a full-time thrifter, picker, or better yet, treasure hunter. I love finding things that catch my eye and bringing them back to life. You can find me picking garage shells, thrift shops, flea markets, auctions, dumpsters, and yes, even curbs. So come join me on this adventure. Let's do some picking. Hey guys, Missy with Junk To Be Loved here. I am back with another haul video for you guys today. Um, I'm sorry that the haul video is a little bit late. I had some personal issues going on, um, but I'm getting to it now. So this is my haul video um, from when I went to the bins by myself on Friday, this past Friday, um, the 28th. So my total spend was $33.54. I had um, 25 pounds worth of stuff, regular stuff, that was $1.29 a pound. And then they, their books, um, any books, if they're over a pound, then they're just straight $1.29. They don't cost no more than that. So um, I had one book, and I will show you guys that here in a minute, but um, like I said, my total spend was only $33.54. So I will show you guys everything that I got. Um, the first thing that I'm, I got are these little taper candles. And the box is a little tore up, but they're still in the box, and look how cute they are. They're little squirrels. And they're from Raspberry and Company. I don't know why it's not really wanting to focus very well tonight. But I'm supposed to be getting a new phone in two days, so let's hope. I keep saying that, so, but we'll see. I think I'm going to get the iPhone 11, so the camera is going to be a lot better. Yay! But anyway, look how cute these little tiny squirrels are on these taper candles from Raspberry and Company. It doesn't say... It doesn't say a date. It just says Raspberry and Company, Oakland, New Jersey. But cute. Then I got this awesome Indian blanket. And it has two different tags on it. This one says Earth Rags Indian Blanket right here. not really want to focus very well tonight but it's this big and I'm assuming it is a beach blanket because let me see if I can find the other tag somewhere here here we go it came from Ron John's surf shop you see that tag that's sewn on there? So it's nice. It's a nice, nice blanket. Nice Indian blanket. Very nice. No rips, holes, tears, um, stains, nothing. It's like very nice. In great shape. So I like it. I think these little tassel things are cute. That was a good find in the bins. Then I got a little bit bored looking at the hard goods, so I went to the clothes, even though I don't really do clothes that much. But um, I did find this vintage dress. Look how cute that is. And there's the tag. So it's cute, cute vintage yellow dress. It's like pleated, can you see how? It's cute. Okay, then I stuck him in my cart. He's adorable. 
Jolly Green Giant dude. I didn't see a date or anything on him. I just thought he was cute. Just a little rubber guy. Then I got another little frisbee for my mom's puppy. It's just a tiny little frisbee. Because he's just a tiny little puppy. Okay, then I got this out of the clothes bin too. And I was I thought it was a vintage apron at first. I thought this was like a vintage apron. But it's not. It's a skirt. See, it ties on the side. Here's the tag. And it ties right there on the side. And so here's the skirt. Isn't that... It's just adorable and it's got like bells on it so that's the skirt and then this I I was like you have to be so tiny like I don't even know who would fit in this or anything like it doesn't even look like it would go with I mean it matches the skirt exactly but it's just so much tinier compared to the compared to the the skirt but there's, it's, it's got the same exact tag on it and the same exact material. It's just like, I have no idea. It's crazy. It's weird. And it like ties, I guess. So maybe it just looks so tiny. I don't even know who would fit in this. The skirt looks normal size. Oh, it's just strange. I don't know. I have no idea, but I thought it was cute and adorable. I like this, the bottom. It's just like... I don't know. It kind of looks like, you know, Arabian. I don't know. I thought it was cute, though, so I got that. And then the last piece of vintage clothing that I got was the skirt and it's still got the tag that's an older tag oh. I thought it was adorable it's still got the tag on the inside from Von Mar so it's just a vintage skirt So I thought that was cute. Then I got this. I love this. I got this lamp and it works. I did put a light bulb in it before I left or before I bought it, I guess I should say. Um, the lady at the front desk gave me a light bulb so I could plug it in to try it and it does work. It is glass, the shade. And then the base is metal. I just love it. It's like a banker's lamp. I really like it. And it works. So that was definitely worth it. Okay. And here's the book that I got. It is the Betty Crocker cookbook. It's a vintage one. It's got the... But it's a vintage Betty Crocker cookbook from 1978. So, and it's cool. It's in great shape. The pages aren't ripped or anything. It's like really good and great shape. I mean, the corners like of the book itself are a little worn, obviously. Because it's from 1978. it's I wouldn't expect anything less, but... And it was in the bins. This is a cool cookbook. Alright. Then... As you've seen in the video, I was really excited about these. Here's the first one. I love it. Look at that. It's so funky look in this purse. I just think it's so cute. I love it. And the strap. It's like just different colors. It's so cool. 
So yeah, this one doesn't have a brand. Oh yes, no, it just says genuine leather. That's all it says, genuine leather. I couldn't find any other tags. Just the made in China one, but. I loved it. How could I not pick this up? You guys know I love my bags and my purses. So, and I love colorful things. I love lots and lots of color. So obviously I'm going to get this. Okay, then I got this one. I love it. It's wood beaded purse. It's all wood beaded. Except for the inside. And it's in great shape. This one doesn't have a tag on it either, a label. It just has a little zipper, a little zipper compartment on the inside. But that's it. I couldn't believe these were still in the bins. But what some people's trash is other people's treasure. So I guess people didn't want this would be to purse. I sure as heck did. I love it. Okay, then the last purse I believe that I got is this one for St. Patty's Day. I'm not for sure still what I'm going to be doing for St. Patty's Day, but when I if I do go out with my friends, I love to dress up. It's one of my favorite things, one of my favorite holidays to dress up for is St. Patty's Day. So, last year me and my friend Felicity went and seen DJ Polly D in um Kansas City at the Power and Light District for St. Patty's Day. So that was a lot of fun. This year I'm not for sure what I'm doing yet. It's coming up soon. But anyways, that's the brand of it right there. It's just a green purse. And this one will be for me to keep for when I go out on St. Patty's Day. Just a green purse. Funky green purse. I really like it. And it's in good shape, so... That one will be key, staying with me. Okay, then I got, oh, I got this t-shirt, and I might keep it for myself, because I think it's just so cool. It's from the National Air and Space Museum. And I like colors, obviously, like I said, so, and look at it, it's so, it's so nerdy, but it's so cool. Like, it's got the solar system on there. That is just rad. So, I will, I don't know, I don't know if I'll keep that or sell that. I haven't decided. Then, um, towards the end of my trip, um, I decided to put a sheet over my cart and leave it, buy some bins, and go to new bins. Because I was by myself, so usually my mom watches my car for me, but she wasn't there. So I just decided to put a sheet over it. Nobody bothered it. They were Everybody's pretty respectful at our bins. So, um, But anyways, I was looking in the new bins, and this lady standing beside me handed me these. And she's like, those, are, those um, are pretty expensive. And then she just handed them to me. And it is a Shopkins bag. It's like brand new. It's still got the tags. Right here, still got both tags, and it's a bag, Shopkins bag. You open it up like this, and fold it out like it can hang, and look at all those Shopkins in there. There is like so many. There's probably like 50, 50 some Shopkins in there, if not more. So, and then like little books and stuff. This is so awesome. I couldn't believe it. She just handed it to me. This right here alone should pay for everything that I got in the bins. Shopkins are not cheap. And this is brand new still with the tags. So, I couldn't believe it. She just handed it to me. It was nuts. Um, there was a couple other Shopkins play things, but they, like, one of the doors was broke off. It was there, but... I don't know. I just, I left those behind. I just got this. My cart, like I said, it was the end of my trip. My cart was already pretty full. I thought this was just awesome, so. Okay. And then, as you've seen in the video, I found this 
It's so awesome. Look at the graphics on that magazine. I like this. Like, this would be cool to frame and hang up in your house. It's a book. It's a mute, not a magazine, sorry. It's a music book. Is what it is, but I just thought that was so cool. I really like it. And I don't know if I can see a date on it. It says price 50 cents right there. Can you see that? So I'm assuming it's pretty old. I'm sure it's got a date on it somewhere, maybe. Just give me one second, you guys. Night. It says, contents of this folio copyrighted 1937. That's the only, that's the only date. Yep. We'll just go straight to the thing. That's the only date on there you could find. 1937. I don't know if that's when it is from, but that is so cool. I love it. Okay. Then when I was walking around in the furniture section, I somebody had picked this up and must have set it back down because it was just sitting on a piece of furniture, but it's a beautiful shell. Look at See how the back's swirly like that? Oh my goodness. I love it. And it could just be used as a little trinket dish. Like right here, it looks like a spot may have like broken the ocean. But you can't even really tell like. I mean, this is cool. So yes, it weighs just a little over a pound. So I paid like $1.30 for this. And I just love it. If I had a place to put it, I would just keep it on my nightstand. My nightstand's full already with crap, but I would just keep it on a nightstand and keep my jewelry in it and little trinkets and stuff because it's so awesome. All right. Then I got this game. And it doesn't weigh very much at all, but the box is big, so I'm not really for sure how much it's going to cost to ship. Probably anywhere from 10 to $15 to ship it. But it's a vintage game from 1989. Melvin. And it took me a while to dig in the bins to try to find everything because somebody opened it up and just put... Um, just scattered the pieces everywhere in the bins so I couldn't find it all. I'll show you. I found most everything. This part and this part. So that's like the majority of the game right there. The head. Look out. Look at that. It's so cute. And then the feathers. And I looked at the, the box to see what all it was supposed to come with. And it was supposed to come with the head, the, the body like I showed you. Um, four of these, which I found... I found all four of these little sticks. I think it's supposed to be four of these. And then, sorry if I'm squinting. I'm really, really tired. I just took a shower. It's late. It's like almost 11 o'clock at night. But I had sick kiddos all day. One, I'm pretty sure one has strep throat. The other one came on antibiotics, so... I just have been hanging out with sick kiddos for the past few days. Plus, I've had a lot of other things going on, too. But anyways, these worms. It's supposed to come with... I think I only, it's supposed to come with 20, and I only found 14. So, they're just like plastic. They're supposed to be worms. So, there's just all different colors in here. I think I found 14, and it's supposed to come with 20. So, I'm just missing a few... Worms is all, but it also has um, the instructions with it. And the box is in not bad of shape either. So 
Like I said, it's just missing a few of those worms. I dug and dug and dug and dug and dug and couldn't find the rest of them. So I just gave up on looking. I even looked in the bin right beside it and couldn't find them. But I thought this was pretty cool. It's big. Like I said, the box is big. It's going to be a little bit to ship it, but it's from 1989. Almost complete. People like games from when they were kids. They like them now. Okay. And then I got these. I'll try to speed it up. We're going on 20 minutes here already, but I found these two vin um, vintage pillowcases. They're embroidered. Look how pretty they are. And they're in great shape. I really, really like them. So there's a set of two of those. Then I got some vintage books. I got this one for Easter, which I need to get it listed. The bunny book. It's cute. How cute is that? And it's from, it doesn't have any rips or tears either. It's just adorable. And it is from 1987. So I just thought this was so cute. See, it would be so cute for Easter. Look at that. Vintage Easter book, so I gotta get that listed. I play it on this weekend. We have the kids, but I plan on listing like crazy because I just got my free listings back from eBay, so I plan on listing at least 47 things on there. I'm just going to go to town with it. Like I said, we're getting ready to go on vacation. So, okay. Then I picked up this vintage book to go with. I think I have like two or three other vintage books. I'm just going to put them all in a lot. How cute is that? They were in my previous video, I think. But these are cute and people like to decorate with these. It's just adorable. And look at the back of it. The back page. It's just cute. So, cute book. And I got this vintage book. And it just caught my eye. I'm like so afraid of bees, but they intrigue me. So, I just thought it was cute. And it's an old library book. And this copyright is 1959. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see it because it's really, really small written down there. But it's from 1959. But here's the cover. And it's cute. It just tells about bees and stuff. I just thought it was neat. And it barely weighs anything at all. It'll ship medium mail or first class. Probably be about the same price because it doesn't weigh very much. Then I got this vintage book. I just thought this was cute. And it's still got the, the plastic on it from, you know how old library books had like plastic sometimes over the um, book covers? Sleeves or whatever they're called. But this one, and it's an old library book. But anyways, this one, the buttons go walking. And the copyright is 1940. I don't know if you guys can see it or not, but it's, I mean, it's so cute. Look at this. I just thought it was cute. The buttons go walking. 
Okay, then I got this little book. It just tells you how to make different cakes, like in different. See this one? I mean, there's all different. There's just so many. So, I thought that was cute. Then the last book I got was this one written by Madonna. And it caught my eye when I was going through my cart. Because the tables sit right beside um, the bins that are full of books. The tables that you can sit down and go at your stuff over. So, I seen this when I was going through and I seen it and it said Madonna. And I'm like, I didn't know Madonna had wrote any books. This is cute. And it's, I don't even think it's been opened. It's like, I don't think it's been read at all because it's in great shape. Like, you know, when you open up books and they're, they don't really want to stay open. It's cute. So, I like that book. I'm probably going to read that one before I sell it. Okay, still got two more stacks. This is crazy. There's only two things in this one. I got the this. It's a headset still in the package, Everlast. I will take it out very quickly for you guys and show you. I'm assuming it's for boxing. And it goes around your head. And it's in great shape. Almost looks new. Maybe only used a, a time or two. But it, like I said, it still came in this in this bag, so that's always a good thing. It doesn't really weigh that much. Probably not even two pounds. So I only play, paid maybe a dollar fifty for it. That's cool. Then. I got this, and I looked it up, and these sell for pretty good money. It's brand new. Hasn't even been opened. Still sealed. Carpet cleaner powder. And it is a big thing of it. I don't know if I can see how many ounces. I don't know, but this should sell in between $20 and $30 just for this bag alone. So, not too shabby. In the last sack, I, I got a bag of cookie cutters, the metal ones. Sometimes these sell pretty good, sometimes they don't. I think I'm going to just, instead of listing these online, I'm just going to take them to the auction. Which is coming up sooner than than I th think so I need to hurry up and get stuff going for that like, I have to go through everything and take all the garage sale stickers off from my last sale because you don't want garage sale st stickers on your auction items when you're taking them to the auction house but, okay then I got this vintage hat it's a snapback hat it's wet mitten surf shop how cute. It's got one tiny little mark right there that I, I think I can get off with Don Bishop in a wet rag. But how cool. Yes. Wet Mitten Surf Shop. I don't even know if it still exists. I'll have to Google it. But Now this is in a little rough shape. I got this little coin purse and I got it. You can see how it's in rough shape right there. And then right here see how it's like worn and stuff but it is old and cute I just thought this coin purse was adorable so like I said it's in a little bit of a rough shape but it's cute then I got this and I'll probably just stick this in my purse even though it's vintage it's brand new Still has a box. 
it's cool. I've never seen one like this, but they, because they just make them in sticks now, but see, it's a handheld lint roller. Brand new. I don't even know how you wipe it off, I guess, because it doesn't look like the peel. Hmm. I don't know. I don't have to figure it out, but cute. And this little elf. This little vintage Christmas elf. He's cute. This tape to go with uh, my animatronic Mickey Mouse that I got to get batteries for this weekend and test out. It didn't have a tape to go with it, so I got this one out of the bins. There was actually a bunch of just different random kids tapes like this, but I only grabbed one because they didn't have the cases. They were just random tapes, and so I just grabbed one. Then I grabbed this, and it's in a little bit of rough shape, see right there, but I just thought it was cool. It's one of those old fold-out roller rulers, see, and it just keeps folding out. And then it just folds right back up. So, this will probably go to the auction. Maybe the older men will like it that go to the auction. I just thought it was cool. It's just neat. And it's wood. Wooden ruler. And I got this awesome Chicago hat. I just thought this was cool. Sometimes me and my friend go to um, concerts in Chicago, so I thought this would be fun to, like, I'll, of course, soak it in the tub, figure out how to wash it. I might soak it in the tub and then it, with some OxyClean and then just let it air dry after I rinse it and see if, because I don't want to put it in the washing machine, obviously, with that fur, but I just thought it was cute. Okay. Oh, then I got my stepdaughter this. I forgot because she's in dance. So I got her this cute little headband that she could wear. So I got to throw that in the washing machine. That over there. Okay, then the last things I got are these awesome rainbow set. Okay, this is a belt. A rainbow. And it's a stretchy belt. Let's see? And it just hooks together like so. See? How adorable. Then I gotta see if I can bend this back. Like see how it's bent. But this is so cute. Look at this hat. It's it, I don't know if I will try to get a battery to see if it works to plug it in. That's right there that holds the battery part but it reminds me of like an old poker player's hat or something it's funny but it's bent so I don't know if I'm going to be able to like put it on something and then bend it back but it is very vintage castle toys is what it says I think that's cute and then the rainbow suspenders Awesome. And these are manufactured by Welch Company, Hillsboro, Oregon. They're adorable. So, yeah, that was my haul for... I got all that stuff for $33.54. I should make the money just back off the Shopkins. But I think I did not too bad at all. So stay tuned. Um, tomorrow I plan on taking a road trip to Iowa City, which is a couple hours away from me, and hitting up some new thrift stores that I haven't hit ever before. So stay tuned for that video. Um, please remember to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell button um, so you can see my all my new videos. I'm still stuck at 200 and some subscribers, so it would be nice to get some more subscribers. Plus, this gives um, all my stuff that I find exposure. 
um, I will be listing everything on eBay and Etsy. Um, there's a few things less listed on Macari. You can always follow me on Facebook and Instagram, too. All the links will be in the description below. And until next time, keep smiling and happy picking. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, keep smiling and happy picking.